up guys Caleb here up in the movie room today uh, as you may know last Friday the uh, Disney Plus released Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, it was a pretty pretty cool episode seems like that show is going to be pretty pretty fun action-packed so um, it's been on my list for a while to make a Captain America shield but uh, eventually I want this whole wall up here to be uh, props from Marvel. So on the way into the movie room, you'll see a bunch of uh, Marvel props and stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to show how I made this uh, shield from the same shield from the end of Endgame, and it's the same shield from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So uh, let's get to the build. All right, guys. So to begin with, I'm using a full sheet of floor mat foam. I'm using this long, I think this is a three foot level I have. Uh, I'm lining it up corner to corner, putting a line in the middle, and I'm lining it up the other corner to corner, and then marking that in the middle too. This will give you the exact center point of your piece of foam. So how I cut this out is I took this off set piece of format foam and uh, I put my marks on here, how spaced out I wanted the lines to be. I used this little toothpick, I put it right in the very center where we marked with our level and I put it through this hole here and then I put this piece into that center hole and basically you make a giant compass and I use my pen and I hold it against my line that I marked and I just slowly draw all the way around the circle. I do that for the outside circle and I also use it for all of the inside circle detail panels. Um, and then this is the star from the blueprint. I have this blueprint available for you guys. Same thing, I, I put a hole through the very center of the star, so I can put it right in the center. I trace it all the way around, uh, and then I only cut the one inside detail out. It's kind of a waste of time if you cut all of them out, when you can just move it, and trace it, and move it, and trace it. it saves a lot of time from cutting all that stuff out. So then I went to Five Below and I bought myself a exercise ball. And then I got home and I remembered that I don't have a air pump or a bicycle pump or any kind of pump. So I used my airbrush, which surprisingly worked. Uh, I just held it in there and I, I uh, just held the trigger down. Uh, did it take longer than using an air pump? Yeah, yeah, absolutely it did. But that was all I had on hand, so that's what I used. So here I am. This is a technique I got from uh, Lost Wax on YouTube. I will put a link in uh, a card link to his video. Um, it's pretty ingenious, actually. Uh, there's not really any other great way to get a shield dome shape out of foam. The uh, nice thing about this technique too is that you use one full piece of foam so there's no uh, seams. There's lots of other ways to do it where you can cut the shapes out and glue them together. But again, you will have seams. You can try to get rid of them as best as you can. But it is a lot nicer just to use one full sheet of foam. So I'm using some saran wrap and I am just wrapping the shield to the top of this uh, yoga ball uh, and I go a bunch of different directions the saran wrap sticks uh, really good to the rubber of the yoga ball and then after I get that wrapped you can see there's still some peaks and some ridges and I go through with some packing tape and I just tape all that uh, down flatten it out as best as I can this is the 
time consuming part because it's it's very hard to just rip so uh, I should have just cut a bunch of pieces and had them ready to go but I ended up just uh, sticking them down and cutting them with scissors so you go around the whole shield and you get all these peaks all these little thing parts that stick up and uh, then when you feel pretty comfortable with with how it's laying down you do a uh, border uh, around the edge of the shield too so it's just a straight border then um, I use my heat gun and I uh, it's really really easy to melt the saran wrap obviously it's just a little thin plastic so I just tried to keep it moving and just heat it up a little bit and then I ended up just leaving it overnight anyway, just so it could kind of pressurize the, sh the shape into the foam overnight too. And so then I uh, carefully cut it not to ruin the yoga ball. And uh, I cut my shield out. And you can see already just from that. keeps this pretty good looking dome shield shape but the um, foam will have the tendency to shrink back eventually to the its original flat shape so using that compass that I made I used the uh, some, the first inside panel line mark and I go around this just this scrap junk piece of foam And that is going to get glued onto the back of the shield, and that what it's going to do is it's just going to glue it in place and keep it uh, keep the dome shape from being able to uh, flatten out. So when I cut this out, I'm cutting it out at a, a 45 degree bevel um, in inner bevel. Um, so when it sits into the dome, it will have more surface area to glue. And it also will fit that shape a little better. So you can see how that's just a little bit smaller than the uh, original shield. Is where it will get glued in place. I'm using contact cement for that. Just putting it on both sides. And then uh, I add like two marks with my Sharpie just so I know exactly where it goes. So when you go to put it down, you can line it up pretty quickly. So now I'm using my ruler and off of the peaks of the stars, I am putting a line uh, in the middle of this. This will be the silver, the silver ring. They, it has these little square details. And the middle of those rectangle details are lined up exactly with the peak of the stars. So now I'm using my... Um, exacto knife and I'm going around and I'm just scoring all of those lines um, not cutting super deep into the foam but I am cutting into the surface you guys have seen me do this before uh, I score it with my knife and then I will hit it with the heat gun and the foam molecules shrink together and pull away from the cut um, everything shrinks together and it leaves you with this really nice uh, detailed panel line. And also in doing this you're um, also sealing the foam too. You're, you're sealing the foam. You can see how it gets glossy. Uh, that means that the, the molecules are sh shrinking together and then it's it, it takes paint better and it, it's 
It's almost melting the foam and giving it a smooth texture to, to put paint on. I am using um, this Rapid Fill. This is a product from Prop Monkey Studios. I've used it before. I really like it. It's like a thick paint, uh, and you paint it on everything. You scrub it. You basically scrub it in with your your paintbrush, and it seals all the little micro holes, and it, it gives you a really smooth uh, top coat. And it also seals your foam, and it and it bonds paint to it. And the nice thing about it is, is that you can sand it. You can put a couple coats of this stuff on and sand it smooth and it stays flexible after all of that so it's not like a bondo it doesn't crack and you can get a really really smooth finish with this stuff uh, I'm also now using some uh, quick seal from it's like a bathroom silicone caulk uh, use it for like your tub and your um, windows and your sink and all that kind of stuff anything that needs to be waterproof in your bathroom <clears throat> and I am using that to fill in some of these pits. Um, the, th the thing with the Harbor Freight floor mat foam is that it's, I mean, it's it's foam that's supposed to go on the floor. You're supposed to stand on it. Uh, but a lot of the pieces will have these little micro, like, air pockets, air bubbles. So I just fill those all in. And now I'm hitting it with a base coat of this gloss black paint and uh, you'll start to see how shiny it gets just because of that that smooth surface that you get from the um, rapid fill so after the paint dries I go through with a silver metallic spray and I sprayed everything with that silver uh, I was gonna try a technique and it didn't really work out too well I was trying to use a, a newer tech I kind of did this wrong I don't know what I was thinking I I taped off the star and I painted everything red and then I took the tape off the star and then painted the blue which I should have just kept the tape on the star because it's this. Anyway, I don't know what I was thinking, but that's what I did. So you'll see how I go back and fix that later. So I taped the uh, I taped the star and I taped that silver middle ring. And then I go through. And I spray it with just some just some red spray paint I had on hand. I think this is called Colonial. Colon because it has the uh, paint flex in it it gives you like that candy apple and that that works too I just I have a tendency to just kind of using what I have on hand and making it work so I had this red paint so that's what I used yeah so now I take the tape off that star for uh, no reason uh, and I get around the middle. Uh, since I'm impatient, I had some paint peeling with the tape when I took the tape off.
So I'm using my airbrush. And I just mixed up some craft blue paint, uh, watered it down a little bit. And then I go through and I spray all of that red there to make that center circle blue. I got some overspray on the star, which was fine because the paint chipped on it anyway from the tape. So then I, I went through with some uh, tester silver by hand and just brushed the star again. Now at the end I used some black acrylic paint, I watered it down, and I went through and I did all the panel lines with that. I painted in the panel lines and then I went through with my rag and I did away. Because uh, I didn't, the shield isn't weathered, it is, it's clean, it's not really even used. Um, but I wanted to make sure you could see those panel lines, uh, have them pop out a little bit better. So I went through and I painted them black so you can see. And then those little squares um, on that silver, they're, they're black too. So I just painted those black. And that is it for the shield. It's a pretty pretty fun, simple, quick kind of build. Uh, as long as you don't rush the paint job and peel paint with your tape. It's pretty quick. Um, and it, it looks pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with it. So I think this will look pretty cool up in the room. You can't really have a bunch of Marvel props and not have Captain America shield. I mean, that's pretty, you know, well, you know, what are you doing? So that is it for this week's build. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you um, use that template and you make your own. And um, like and subscribe to the video if you like it. And uh, I will see you guys next week with another uh, fun build.